What's going on YouTube? So today, uh, what I wanted to do was kind of watch one of my uh, videos that I uploaded to YouTube, one of the wedding videos, and uh, kind of go over the questions and just uh, discuss um, the stuff that was happening during the day and just my opinions and thoughts on some of the shots, uh, just to give you guys an idea of just like what goes through my head during the day um, and just, uh, just some tips and uh, just things going over the wedding day, you know? Um, I, I, I watched um, Star Wars Rogue One uh, deleted scenes with commentary, and I thought that was like the coolest thing ever, just hearing, um, like from the director's standpoint, what was going on and why they made certain decisions on some scenes and whatever. So uh, I thought it would be kind of cool to, you know, maybe do the same thing. Uh, I know it's not a lot, but, you know, this wedding film has around like 8,000 views and uh, with like a bunch of questions. You know, let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments. And uh, hopefully if you guys like it, I'll just continue to do them, make like a playlist of just like, you know, my commentary versions, I guess, of the wedding films. And um, yeah, let's get started. I'll just look at some of the comments. Um, it Again, thanks for like the positive comments. Uh, just kind of, uh, it's, it's nice to know that we're doing a good job here, you know? Um, it says, uh, Ronin or the crane. Uh, I was using the Zion crane and, um, you know, I feel like the camera wobbles way too much when I walk up and down. So I actually just, uh, we just switched to, uh, the Ronin, which I've had the Ronin, but now I have like the, the metal big cage for it. So I walk with both hands and, um, the X-T3 does, does a great job with the autofocus. So. Uh, I just set the little point where I want it to focus and grab it and I'm good to go. Uh, I don't use F-Log, we shoot everything standard profile. Uh, honestly, the dynamic range is insane and the standard profile still looks flat compared to some cameras. So the standard profile is fine with us. Um, there's arguments on like using different color profiles for better skin tones and whatever, but the skin tones are great either way. So uh, I just use a standard profile. Uh, only Canon and Tokina lenses. I think I replied to that. Yeah, uh, only use Canon and uh, Tokina lenses. Uh, we use, actually, no, I lied. We use the Fuji lenses. Uh, this is a 50 millimeter. I use this on the gimbal. And then I have the 23 millimeter, which is on the Fuji right now that's filming. Uh, so yeah, Fuji lenses, Tokina and the Canon lenses. Uh, I used to use the Rokinon lenses when I was using the Sony, but there's no stabilization in the lenses. So yeah, I made a whole video on lenses uh, that we use, so check that out if you want. But uh, I'll just continue. Uh, do uh, Did you render then Premiere Pro? I don't get it. I render in Premiere Pro, yeah. Um, what adapter do you use? I think I replied, we use a Fringer adapter. Uh, what adapter do you use? The same thing. <laughs> it's Everything that I use is in the description. Uh, and yeah, I made a video about the adapter too, so you can check that out. Uh, thank you again for all the positive comments. Do I shoot with Eterna? Uh, no. Standard profile. Uh, do I use manual focus? Yes, I use manual focus for everything except the camera that's on the gimbal. For the one that's on the gimbal, uh, autofocus. Um, ISO of the party. The reception shots were actually shot mixed with the Sony A7S and the X-T3. Uh, we shoot reception party stuff with the Sony. We don't mind. The low light is amazing. The colors are like, yeah, whatever. But um, the when the blue and the red and all those flashing lights are going on, honestly, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the color doesn't matter at that point. You know, it's just whatever looks the nicest. So, uh, but yeah, let's get started. Let's watch the video, right? That's why you guys are kind of here. So press play. Um, this is the venue right here. Uh, it's a really nice venue, but it was a rainy day. You can tell by the clouds. Uh, and normally the ceremony is in this spot right here. Um, but they didn't have it set up because of the rain. And they were going to set up the ceremony under this tent where the reception takes place. But um, you can see the ceremony is supposed to be here. You can even see like the path that they walk on. Uh, but instead, they... Uh, they were going to set it up, back up a little bit. They were gonna set it up right here under this tent, 
Um, we told the, the planner, we're like, look, this venue's beautiful. It has to be outside. Please don't put it under the tent. She said, look, if we put it outside and it rains, it's your fault. And we're gonna, we, you messed up the whole day. And I said, look, that's fine. Blame it on me. I, it's not gonna rain. It didn't rain. They set up the ceremony right here and it's, it was an amazing ceremony. It looked great. No complaints. The shoes, just set up the shoes in a well-lit area. Um, just did our thing with the shoes. Uh, let's see what's next. The dress, shot the dress shot. I got a comment on this one. Uh, it's this lens, the Tokina 11, 11 to 16. It's a nice lens. I like it. It's wide. Uh, we use this lens for the dress shot. Uh, then we pushed in with an 85 millimeter and then we ended up closing out these gates a little bit to shoot through them. Uh, you can see in this shot, we just shot through the gate. Uh, foreground messing with it looks nice. Uh, we always try to put the bride and groom next to a window if possible. Um, you know, just having the groom shots next to the window. Uh, it looked good. This one was, that's probably the shot that I dislike the most is because we're facing the window. I don't really like facing the window because you get everything that's blown out. Um, but it, it looks good, you know. Uh, these, that shot looks amazing. There's actually a little bit of noise reduction in this shot. Um, I don't know why. I think it was just a lot underexposed when we shot it. But uh, yeah, it's fine. The rings, we just put them on the, the window sills right here. And uh, for those, I use this lens, the 17 to 55 by uh, Canon. It's an EFS lens. Um, but uh, this, it's, it's kind of like a macro lens too. When you're at 55, you can focus on things like this far away. So uh, between the slider and then, I mean, I don't think we did any slider shots for those rings, but yeah, that, that was amazing. Uh, we had a lot of time. Uh, these shots, uh, just a slider with 11 to 16 again, did this right after the, the dress shot. Just like how that looks a lot. Um, all these shots, the majority of the day on the other camera I had the Canon 35 millimeter on it. Um, all 35 millimeter. This was the first shot I ever did actually uh, at 60 frames a second in 4K with the X-T3. And I was super happy with the way it came out. And uh, after seeing this shot on the camera, I mean, after you slow it down in editing, then I was like blown away with the X-T3. But uh, yeah, just slow motion shots. Slow mo shots, you know, by the window, get as close as you can to the window. Uh, expose for the, the, you know, the lit side. Don't worry about it being dark. Contrast is nice. Yeah, I like it. Uh, again, we're facing the window. Um, not a huge fan, but it is what it is and it still looks great. The skin tones are on point. Then my business partner came over from filming the groom and then he got uh, this shot in slow motion right here. That's one of my favorite shots of the whole video. This shot, I just love their reaction as like a group talking to each other, but um, they're, they're kind of out of focus, but uh, it still looks great. It's fine. And you know, just more normal slow motion shots throughout the video. I mean, there's nothing crazy here. It looks nice. Now these are with uh, the crane the X-T3 and a 50 millimeter. So with the crop sensor, you're talking about like, like an 85 millimeter, basically, on with no IS on a gimbal. And this is as smooth as I can make it. Uh, this is one of my favorite shots too. Uh, there's just a lot of emotion in it. But I mean, it's not like, you know, whatever. It's cool that she's walking behind him and he doesn't see her. That's the whole point of a first look, right? So. So yeah, these were just on the gimbal, the 50 millimeter, looks great. The ceremony reception, so happy we did outside. Um, yeah, I think it looks amazing. Uh, little uh, false advertising during the ceremony. Um, that wide shot was actually a Sony. It was difficult to match the color, but what can you do? Uh, again, the gimbal. 50 millimeter, 85 millimeter. Uh, it's really difficult to focus, so this whole shot is actually soft, but we'll live with it. This shot's actually a Sony. 
Um, doesn't look as crispy as the other shots, but it'll pass. I could ever be with, after looking into your eyes, your embrace. Then this shot is one of my favorite shots I've ever recorded during a wedding. Um, and this was also the other turning point uh, with the Fuji. It was, I saw this and I was blown away. I was like, this is the best uh, after kiss walking down the aisle shot I ever, I ever captured. But recently, uh, the YouTube video I just uploaded, that one was really cool too, so you should check that out. Just really nice gimbal stuff, more portrait shots. They, I, I don't understand, the Fuji looks so nice. Like, we saw these and we were just blown away. Just having the 4K at 60 frames a second is like game changing. I don't know. And then just having the color of the Fuji mixed with the 60 frames a second and 4K, like we love it. And then H265, oh my, yeah, just the color, money, 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 money. Um, gimbal stuff, all this is Fuji stuff. I hate the dark clouds in the background because of the rain, but what can you do? This, I don't, I don't understand. Like the skin looks so soft. The skin tones are on point. Uh, it looks, I love it. I love it. Um, again, you know, shakiness of the gimbal, but we'll live with it. A little uh, push in with, in post, just scaling it. Uh, just the ring shot. I love it. There's someone walking in the background, but what can you do? That shot's a little soft. Then we go into the reception. The reception, now that's when we start mixing like the, the Sony with the X-T3. Uh, everything that's moving on the gimbal is the X-T3. So that's X-T3. And you can, you can tell, man, like, like look, look how, look how crispy that looks. Right, you see that and it's like, that's the Sony. But then it looks super soft and then you cut to this and it's like, it's like, it's night and day. But the thing is the colors are almost the same because you have the weird red and blues of the reception. So it's fine that we mix the cameras, but that's just, yeah. Again, just, you know, nothing crazy here. Just going back and forth. Uh, then, yeah, during the reception, I decided, you know, I'm just gonna fly the drone. I got some really cool drone shots. Um, normally I like my black in the videos like kind of slightly crushed just to add more to the contrast. But um, in this one, I bumped up the blacks a little bit to make it gray just so the whole screen isn't pitch black. But uh, that's why it looks a little gray. And that was also with the Mavic. Now we have the Mavic 2. So uh, maybe there's a difference in low light, but whatever, it's fine. Again, just a mix of X-T3 and uh, Sony footage here. Um, just really cool shots. We had a, a third shooter with us and uh, he got a lot of nice shots. That one, that was the X-T3. I was just far away with the 85 millimeter. Uh, ran up and got that. It's just some of these shots look insane. And then um, the, the difficult part was the exit. Uh, we didn't really know what to expect of the X-T3 because it was the first exit we were filming with it. And, um, you know, when you have a sparkler exit, the, the sparklers do the lighting itself. But again, it's almost pitch black. And then all you have are sparklers. So, I mean, it is dark. Uh, 4K 60 with slight noise reduction. And um, you get this. And then that, uh, you know, there's noise reduction there. But... You had sharpening with the noise reduction and it, yeah, it, it's fine. It looks good. That's that. Um, if you have any questions for me, please ask. If there's other things you want me to cover in my next commentary, I'll most likely be doing this one. Let's look at it. Uh, let's see, let's see here. I will do this one, the Katie and Josh and the keys. Yeah, I can talk about that one. That one's cool. Whatever you guys want me to talk about next in the next video, these are kind of like Q&A videos. I should just call them Q&A videos, right? But while watching a wedding video, I don't know. I'll just put like, whatever, I don't know. 
I'll figure it out later. I don't know what I'm gonna call it. Commentaries. I'll call them commentary. Let me know what you guys want me to answer in the next commentary video. Um, there's something they want me to talk about. Next commentary video. Thanks again for watching. Um, subscribe if you feel like it. Uh, yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.